Craving a burger but yearning for a change? The veggie burger is a lower fat alternative to the beefy favorite. Just hold the fries. Developed in the early 1980s in London, England, the veggie burger has gone from fringe food to the mainstream, all in short order. Just add a bit of oil to the grill and this meatless patty sizzles with burger appeal. Chock full of grains, nuts and veggies, it somehow looks kind of beefy, but it tastes distinctly different from an actual meat patty. This particular burger is a non-soy version, but there are many kinds of veggie burgers available today, and an increasing number of people go meat-free or reduce the amount of meat they eat. They start with finely minced frozen veggies. This recipe calls for carrots, celery, onions, and mushrooms. And that's safflower oil in the dish on the lower left. The safflower oil simmers on the bottom of the steam-heated mixer as they gradually add the ingredients. Blades stir the mix as it sautés. As the vegetables cook, their natural sugars are released. This causes the veggies to caramelize. The flavors deepen and become more complex. The technique is called mirepoix. It's a French culinary term for a sautéed mix of aromatic vegetables. The mirepoix is very substantial to add both texture and flavor to this veggie burger recipe. They add the final ingredient, the mushrooms. And after more mixing and cooking, this veggie burger mirepoix is complete. They transfer the mirepoix to a big mixing tub called the gondola. And now they add the dry ingredients. They include walnuts, cooked bulgur, oats, potato flakes, and pure gluten flour. The worker adds pails full of each of these ingredients to the mirepoix. Then using a shovel, he folds all the dry ingredients into the mix. Moistened by the cooked vegetables, the gluten flour becomes sticky. This causes the ingredients to cling loosely together, taking on a consistency similar to that of cookie dough. He now loads the sticky mix into a hopper that leads to an automatic patty-making machine. It's a mold with a plunger-like mechanism that presses and shapes the mixture into perfect patties. A constant spray of water keeps things from becoming too sticky, allowing the patties to be cleanly ejected from the mold. Then it's a short conveyor trip to the next station, where workers retrieve the veggie patties and arrange them on baking trays. In the process, they inspect the patties and confirm that they've been perfectly formed. They roll stacked trays of burgers into a preheated convection oven. When the oven door closes, the burger-laden trays rotate inside so they cook evenly. After baking, they quickly freeze the veggie burgers to lock in nutrients and preserve freshness. Workers then load the frozen veggie burgers onto a conveyor and they head up into the packaging line. These burgers can't spend too much time outside the freezer or they'll start to thaw. A hot iron seals the cellophane wrap around groups of four burgers and separates them into packets. Down the line, suctioning devices open cardboard boxes and transfer them to a conveyor. The boxes are now positioned to receive the burger packets. As they move forward, workers just slide them inside. The boxes of veggie burgers then head into a narrow lane to close the pre-glued flaps. This entire packaging operation takes less than a minute. In just one hour, this factory can wrap and package over 9,000 veggie burgers. At the end of the day, that's a lot of meatless burgers. But it should be enough to feed a growing trend of vegetarianism.